Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. This one's from a company by the name of Ice Mule. This is their Traveler Cooler from their Go series. And uh, this particular color is called Snow Gray. The reason they call this uh, cooler the uh, Traveler is because it comes with these sweet uh, backpack straps that uh, really just distributes the load and works really well. And we'll show you how that works here in a minute, but we're gonna run through some of the uh, features on the cooler, so just hang tight. Oh, guys, I totally slipped my mind. I wanted to let you know uh, the price of it. it the MSRP is $289.99, uh, but I did find it for $241.63 at Discount Bandit. So definitely whenever you uh, in the market for one of these, definitely do a little shopping around, and uh, you can find it at all different prices. This is Ice Mule's uh, largest cooler in their Go series. It's a uh, 35 liter capacity. Uh, it has a bowhead top, which uh, pretty much means it's got a, a wide area here on the top to be able to pour the ice into. The cooler's been sitting outside all day. It's been about probably 95 degrees. Uh, so it's been really a scorcher. Uh, I emptied all the ice out of my freezer into uh, the cooler and uh, we're fixing to open it up and check the inside temperature with an infrared thermometer so this is the first time it's been open uh, today and you can see this is why they call it the the bowhead uh, is because it's got a, a large opening it's really easy to put pour your ice down in there and uh, all right uh, we just opened it up and you can see on the thermometer, it's going uh, 32, 33, just where, it just really depends on where you move it to. Uh, 37, 35, 34. So you can tell it's, uh, the ice is not really melted that much. I mean, there's a little bit of water down in the bottom, but you know, it looks like it's doing its job. And, it's kept these big chunks frozen. Uh, they say it's a, a 48 hour plus uh, re ice retention. So one thing I like about this cooler is it has lots of room on the inside uh, for your drinks and ice. And you know, if you want to put some containers in here uh, to keep your, your sandwiches or whatever dry, uh, there's plenty enough room. You could double stack the containers. Uh, because the lid uh, don't close to right here. So you can put a lot more stuff in here. Uh, if you're going uh, backpacking or tailgating, whatever, there's plenty of room in here. You're not going to run out of room with this cooler. All right, some of the features that this cooler has to offer is it's 100% uh, waterproof and it floats. So this would be a good cooler to take on a, a boat with you in case it flipped over a kayak or something like that. It might be a little too big for a kayak, but you know, if you've got a larger kayak, it probably work just fine. But you know, uh, nonetheless, if it fell out of the boat, it'll still float. Um, this thing has some big pockets here on the front. My buddy's packed it full of a bunch of stuff to kind of give you an idea of what all will fit. Um, yeah, got a bunch of goodies in here. Uh, he's got his cell phone, uh, a couple uh, cigars in a case, little humi little humidor, um, some keys, and a lighter, some more keys, a cigar cutter. Draw storage, right? And then you got to have some food, so you know, throw some ramen noodles in there and uh if you got some uh bars you know uh candy bars or whatever whatever you want to snack on um this thing hold, has a lot uh a dry storage and then it's got another pouch here on the back and uh, it's got a little clip right here on the inside where you can uh hang your keys or whatever and uh and it's got these little pads here on the back, so whenever you're using the the backpack strap, it just uh, it rests against your back, so it's not uh, hard on you. One other thing uh, this cooler has a lot of is uh, little eyelets, these little plastic eyelets where you can tie stuff uh, onto them. You know, if you want to hook a carabiner in it, or if you want to tie it down to let's say a kayak or or just whatever. Um, it's got a lot of good tie off points there on the front and here on the sides. And it's got these really heavy duty nylon uh, type straps 
and is in the handle. And uh, let's see, it's got these little uh, Molly straps. That's what my buddy's calling them. We'll go with that. He's in the Marines, so I guess he knows what he's talking about. But uh, anyways, uh, he's calling them Molly straps. So we're gonna go with it. Uh, the uh, zipper is really heavy duty. It, uh, it shouldn't have any problems out of it. It looks like it's really built well. Uh, now, they give you this uh, lubricant to put on the uh, zippers so they open uh, easier. Because when you first uh, get them, the zippers are a little bit stiff. But once you put the uh, lube on there, uh, it makes it so much easier to get open. And then right here on the back, it's got uh, four more uh, little plastic eyelets. All right, uh, this is the uh, backpack strap that it comes with, and I'll go ahead and tell you it's nice and padded. It comes with this nice little Ice Mule logo with the uh, thermometer here on the back, and uh, my buddy Jake is going to show you how to attach it to the Ice Mule cooler, and uh, he's going to give you a little demonstration. Small straps go through the shoulders. They're going to hook on the front of the cooler. And the long straps are going to go on the back and they're going to hook to the back two outlets on the bottom near the pads. All right, we're back to the front of the cooler. Top two outlets on the front part of the cooler. They just lock in place. Two adjustable straps for the neck. Turn on to the back. We're gonna hook it in the bottom two eyelets. Adjustable straps. And you wear it just like a backpack. So you can't really adjust the neck while you're wearing it, so do that before. But you can adjust the height of the cooler. You can tell this thing is built like a tank. It's got those nylon straps and you can really pull on them and get it adjusted just right. And then it's got the chest strap so it takes some of the, the load off of you and, and distributes some of that weight. And uh, you can see that it, it sets flat. You would easily be able to hike with this thing. And so, you know, if you're a hiker, this would be a great cooler to take with you. Or if you're, you know, uh, going out to the park, you know, let's say you're gonna shoot fireworks for the 4th of July, you know, Load this thing up with some beer and, you know, you got plenty of storage in there for some snack foods or sandwiches or whatever you want. So, anyways, guys, this is the uh, Ice Mule Traveler. Check them out. I'll put a link to their website in the description. And uh, I hope this uh, video helps somebody out. If it did, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if there's something you'd like to see me do a video review on, put it in the comments below and I'll try to get to it. And I appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Thank you.